Hey everybody, Ray here. Today I want to make a comparison video. I'm going to compare a polyurethane finish, a wipe-on poly finish, with a new product I've found by a company called Solar Res that makes this product called I Can't Believe It's Not Lacquer. The difference is this takes about four hours to dry between sanding. This one takes about five minutes to dry between sanding because you cure it with the UV rays of the sunlight. If that's of interest to you, stick around. I'm going to show you these two products. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to use a wipe-on polyurethane on this cajon, which I have stained red, and then I'm going to use the solar res on this cajon, which I have stained kind of a walnut brown. Both of them have been sanded down with 220 sandpaper, uh, and both of them were cleaned up with a tack rag to get as much dust off of there as we can. All right, so we're going to proceed with doing the wipe on poly. And I'm also going to wear a face mask. And uh, generally, I just wear a light face mask like this. Um, if, if you're using the solar res, I'd make sure it's a well-ventilated area. I actually have one of those, I don't know what you call them, ventilator style um, masks, but unfortunately I left it over at my daughter's house, so I'm just going to use one of these. To apply the poly, I'm just using a rag. Oh, and let me show you this. I got this bag of paint and cleaning rags at, at uh, actually from Home Depot. I think it was about 11 or $12. There's 50 rags in here. Each one appears to be, well, it says they're 12 by 13. I'd say they're at least that big. Um, and they show that it's kind of strong like a t-shirt. The material is sort of something between a t-shirt and a, a paper towel. But the cool thing about it is when you cut it and when you use it, uh, it doesn't create a lot of dust and lint. So I'm going to try these out. They look pretty good. And because I cut them into small sheets like this to use them, 50 of those things will probably last me a year or so. Um, anyway, I thought this was kind of a neat product I'd, I'd share with you. So we're going to wipe on a thin coat of the poly here. Make sure that everything gets covered. A thin coat, the instructions say that this is dry in four hours or so. And then you can handle it uh, in eight hours and then it's fully cured in 24 hours. So, you know, this stuff's got a long drying time and that is a bit of a drawback. All right, so you don't need to watch me apply this polyurethane. I'm going to go ahead and get this applied and then I'll bring you back when I start on the solar res. In this solar res, I've just poured a little bit in here. It actually goes quite a long way. We'll see if this goes far enough. And I'm going to apply the first coat with a brush because I want this first coat to be a little bit uh, heavier uh, to try to make sure that I fill the grain in as much that, as I can. But um, it, it's very simple to apply. And because this stuff doesn't dry unless it's ex exposed to the UV rays of the sun, this brush I used it about three or four days ago. It's just a cheap throwaway brush. And I just put it in a baggie and it's just fine because it's not going to dry from, at least it would take a lot longer for it to dry with, uh, due to evaporation. So we're going to put this on with a brush and 
We'll give it some time to settle a little bit after I put it on here because it will flow out because it's not going to dry on you. It'll flow out a little bit better, um, smooth out any brush marks as well as um, any little air bubbles can come out. So I'll finish brushing this on and then I'll bring you back. So I first brushed um, the, the first coat on this with the solar res and I found out that it was, it was sort of a model, like it wasn't laying flat. So I came back and I used, this is just a foam ladies makeup pad and, and I just lightly brushed over it with that makeup pad. And remember, this is going to stay moist until you take it outside in the light. So if you find that there's imperfections or something you need to work on, you can do that for as long as you want. You can play around with this stuff and essentially it's not gonna dry. So um, I had to mess around with it a little bit to get it to lay as flat as I'd like. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it outside in the light and uh, we're gonna let it cure. While I was working on this, I kept it in the garage and had my garage door closed because you don't want sunlight to be coming in and getting on this so it starts to cure um, while you're still not ready for it to do so. So they normally say it'll take two to three minutes for this to cure, um, but we're gonna probably give it a little bit longer than that because it is a little bit cloudy. And what I do is I'll just sort of rotate it around um, and let it cure a little at a time just to start the curing and then I'll start holding one end um, toward the sun and just letting it sit like that. Um, so we're just going to keep turning that. I'm going to actually set it down just for a minute and let it sit in the sun and then I'll turn it and let it sit a little bit more in the sun and as I said normally it takes two to three minutes to cure. We're going to give it probably five or six minutes um, on each side given that we've got the sun behind the clouds on us today. So we're going to do a quick sand down here with 220 and you can see how this is powdering up. I did this one side already. I'm just going to use one of these sanders at first just to lightly go over it with one of these. <laughs> And what I'm trying to do is just, just to knock that shine off of there. And it also will dry a little bit dimply, sort of orange peel-like, and you want to try to get that off of there and get it as level as you can. All right, so you can see that I didn't work on that very long. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back over this with some 400 grit paper. So what I'm going to do is just wipe this off again very quickly with the alcohol. Then I'm going to come back with a tack rag. Wipe this off one more time. That should get all the dust off of here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the second coat on this and we're going to apply the thin coat so what I'm going to do is again use that little pad that I've got. I just kept it out of the sun so it didn't dry. It's still nice and wet. And I'm not going to put much on there. This is a really, really thin coat. So you can see that I've still got some in here in the pad that I'm just squeezing out as I do this. And that's giving me the, a thin enough coat on here that I can work with it. We're going to let that settle for just a little bit, not for very long, because it's, it's so darn smooth it doesn't have to settle out very much. And you can see that I didn't even have to add any extra on here. Whatever was in my pad, that's all I used to, to, uh, to do this. So this stuff does go a long way, and that's a good thing, because it, uh, I think it was like $40 a pint. You need this stuff to go a long way. Now I'm going to take this back outside and let it dry in the sun. This time I'll really legitimately, it is sunny out there again and it's such a thin coat that uh, 30 or 3 minutes per side should be just fine. So you can see after the second coat was put on there, dried 3 to 5 minutes 
uh, per side. And you can just see how glossy and shiny that is. Now I don't like it to be that glossy and shiny. I like it to be a little bit more flat and natural looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over this a little bit with some 800 grit sandpaper and then I'll level, I'll level it down a little bit more with a buffing pad. So I sanded this down with 800 grit paper and then cleaned it off and I have applied a coat of carnauba wax that I'm waiting for it to dry. This piece here unfortunately is not as consistent as some of the other pieces that I've done uh, but we'll talk about that later. What I'm going to do now is to go ahead, it's been four hours, uh, my poly feels pretty nice and dry and pretty smooth. I did a pretty good job of getting all the dust off of there. So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, second coat of poly, wipe on poly on here. So let's talk about our results. I wound up putting three coats of the polyurethane on this particular cajon. And it wound up with a pretty nice sort of satin gloss finish. As, as I said, I used a glossy polyurethane, but I just, if I wanted it to be glossy, I'd have to put a few more coats on there. This is a finish like I like, and it feels fairly smooth. The solar res finish on this particular ca cajon didn't come out quite as well as I would have liked it to. You can see that I have a bit of a shine in there, uh, but it's, it's just not consistent. It does feel extremely smooth. So it's a little bit more finicky to work with the solar res. Here's another example of the solar res where I was able to get it smoothed down, just a glass-like finish, um, and it looks very consistent across the whole finish. So I'm really, really happy with the result on this one. So I guess I'd say in the final analysis, if you have time and you just want sort of a semi-gloss finish or even a glossy finish, you can take the 12 hours it takes to put three coats of poly on something and let it dry for 24 hours to be completely cured. If you don't have a lot of time, you can invest in something like this solar res that if you're careful, will give you a great finish and it'll do it in two hours or less. So it's really, really comes down to the time factor, I guess you'd say. Uh, it's, and as I mentioned, this product is a little more finicky to work with. Now one of the reasons I started to play with this product is because I'm making a guitar. And when I, I'm done with that guitar, I want a really glossy, lacquer-like finish. And that's why I started to experiment with this product right here. I'd have to do a whole lot more buffing and polishing, but I could certainly get that glass-like finish. So for that application, this is probably better. For everyday applications, I'm probably going to stick with the polyurethane. I hope you enjoyed that little review and it was beneficial for you. If it was, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.